Hi, so today I decided after a long hiatus that I would go ahead and show you guys how to make a binary search tree since a lot of the times people say, oh, you need a tree and you agree and I mean, you know how it works, but maybe you've never really coded it before. So I'm going to go ahead and begin one part of a many multiple part process and go ahead and start this we're going to do a binary search tree just because uh, it's pretty straightforward if you don't know what it is you can always look it up and uh, see what it is but we're going to go ahead and do this in C++ just because it's a lot more fun to deal with pointers and everything there and yeah, show you what you can do there so to start out we're going to have two files the header file and the CPP file I'm going to start with the header file and what we're going to do is just include uh, everything that we're going to need. Uh, let's just go with the standard library. Um, and then we're also going to include uh, utility. Oops. Okay. So once doing this, we're going to go ahead and define our class. So it's always good to have comments just so everyone knows what you're doing here. So the cool thing about this class is that this binary search tree will be able to take in any data type. And the reason for that is uh, that we're going to make it what we call in C++ a template class. And again, you can look that up if you're not sure what that is, but it basically allows us to put any data type into our tree. So we're going to have two classes within our template, an item and a key. So the item will store the data and the key will just be a unique identifier for each node of our tree. So let's go ahead and name this BST, binary search tree. Why not, right? Um, or why not BS tree? Just so we know. So go ahead and form our class. We want to first define a public and a private space for our tree. So I always start with private variables, they're usually the simplest. And so we want to store a couple things with our tree. First, we want to store the key. So it's going to be a type of key. Key. Uh, then we want to store our actual data. So that's going to be type item. And we'll call that our entry. Next, we're going to store both our right and left node. These could be null or contain a pointer to another node. So it's going to be a BS tree because it'll be pointing to another tree. So item key, and it's going to be a pointer. And we'll make this one the right one. And then we'll do the same here and have that point to the left child. There we go. So it's that easy. Those are our private uh, variables. And now we're going to start with the basics of a class. And the first thing we need is a constructor. So I'm going to make two types of constructors here. First one I'm going to make is just your standard one. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to take in a constant uh, value for the key. And what this is, if you uh, are not familiar with it, constant, it's called a constant reference. And basically it's the most efficient way of taking in a variable and telling the compiler, hey, I'm not going to make any changes to this variable. So don't bother making an actual copy uh, when this is uh, passed through. Just use that value and don't change it. Um, I'm going to do the same with the data. I'm just going to take in that data type and we're not planning on changing anything that comes in here. And uh, finally we want to do BS tree and we're going to go ahead and of course specify that that's type item key. And this will make a lot more sense when we actually start uh, using this later on. So, what we're having be passed in right now is just a simple, you know, we're passing in the key, the data, as well as the left and uh, right child. So, let's go ahead and uh, actually uh, put in one more, or other, actually, why don't we uh, why don't we just go ahead and make the definition for this? So we're going to go ahead and do that right here, um, and this will just give you a quick start on to as to how we're going to make the tree. Um, so 
let's let's figure out what this constructor is going to do. Constructors of of course is going to be a template, just like the rest of our items have been. Class item and key. Okay. And uh, next we're going to do it's a BS stream item key. If you're not familiar with constructors, um, then it'd be a good idea to go ahead and review this so that you <laughs> know what's going on. Um, but what we're going to do is uh, this constructor resides within the class, so it's called BS tree. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and you can just copy paste this in. There we go. So this is our constructor, and now we're going to go ahead and define it. Uh, a few things I want to do first, uh, and that is to go ahead and put in some default parameters. Our first one is just going to be the default value or constructor for that data type that's passed in. And then these ones will have a default value of the children being null. Okay, so if the user only chooses to pass in a key, then that's fine. The default type for that data type for item will be set, and then the two children will be set to null. So they have that option. Uh, otherwise, uh, whatever they pass in, we'll go ahead and store uh, as the key. Um, our entry, oops, we'll go ahead and call this, uh, yeah, entry equals data and uh, what else do we have left equals L and all right equals R okay so just like that we've uh, set up the constructor for this tree uh, pretty simple if you're a little confused I definitely recommend looking up namespaces how that works as well as uh, templates but uh, this is the beginning and we'll go ahead and continue uh, on to uh, our second constructor in part two.